Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on one aspect of hacking and or cheating so you have a better idea on how to identify when somebody is cheating in a match. If this is something you guys do enjoy, I plan to do follow-up videos to kind of incorporate other examples because there are various different hacks, cheats out there that are people are using and they're not all the exact same to each other. So it can be a little bit difficult to spot in certain scenarios. We're gonna look at a little bit of an obvious one today, but if you do enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're brand new, wanna find your way back, Double check, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. So the first example we're gonna look at is, is someone who was actually participating in the Boom TV tournament uh, that was hosted by Swag. Um, and then basically how this worked, it was pretty much if you got a certain number of kills in solos, you queue up solo, however many kills you get, you get those points. Plus, if you got the win, not second place, not third, if you got the win, you got some bonus points. And the top six players went on to compete for a brand new car. And this is the list of the six people that made it into day two. But when I actually watch day two, you're gonna notice that one of the names wasn't there. And that's the gameplay we're gonna look at today because it looks like they were removed for obvious reasons, as we'll see in this video, because they were clearly cheating in some way. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the examples, give you a better idea on what type of cheating this is. So this is the first example we'll look at and what you're really gonna look at is the tracking here. Look at how consistent it is and look at this specific location. He's gonna be shooting at a riot shielder and he doesn't hit the riot shield once, which at all first glance, hey, not a big deal. But as you start compiling multiple clips that somebody is doing something fishy, it adds up to, yes, they are doing something fishy. And we'll kind of explain how this specific hack works based off my own understanding of it. So he comes through here and you can see he doesn't end up missing a bullet. We'll go ahead and look at that uh, pretty much frame by frame. So we come through here, he's aiming at the, the heel and then it will automatically snap on to the chest instantly. Like in a frame and a half, it goes shoots up and none of these bullets actually hit the riot shield because you would get an indicator. So he hits chest, 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 breaks armor ends up downing the player instantly. Somehow the bullets do not hit the armor. So it knows exactly where the hitbox is that it needs to hit and, and not actually get the, get the hit marker there. So pretty straightforward there, nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and go to the next clip and we're gonna compound these here. So what ends up here, he's on top of PD, uh, ends up looking over, I'll let you see the clip and we'll go ahead and walk through it. So here's the clip. At first, it doesn't look particularly fishy. It looks just like solid aim. That's why it's particularly fishy to when you watch controller players because there is an inherent aim assist that does help with your aim. But even when he's used a controller for a long time, you know when something looks a little bit out of the norm. Um, keyboard and mouse, you can still look like you have this type of precision aim, but it's not gonna have this lock-on effect and the snappiness isn't gonna be as snappy as it is if you're on controller. So we'll go ahead and walk through this. So right here, he ends up downing the guy, right? He is all chest shots, a little bit of head in there because maybe just how the guy was moving. And then he ends up shooting the body. He needs to reload. And then here is the fishy part um, for the actual scenario. The rest of it wouldn't look fishy. Obviously they got a round mini map, so they probably got their account blocked when they get the new account. They don't go through all the settings to get, get it set up back with the, the square mini map. Uh, and there you go. Look, so he comes through and he's not even aiming at the guy. And then pretty much in one frame, he goes from there, to there insta snap. And normally how this particular hack works based off my understanding is there's a certain zoom circle that you put around your actual reticle. Once that outer circle touches a hitbox that it can shoot, it automatically snaps to that target. Most good players or smart players will put that very small so that if the aim is almost up on the target, it'll automatically lock on. So it won't look as fishy, but that does require the player to have a little bit more skill. Obviously someone with a little less skill, they make the bubble a little bit bigger so they can snap on. They don't have to work as hard to actually do that. Obviously they're cheating. So they're cheaters, regardless of their skill level. There's a lot of different variables you look at. When determining if someone's a cheater, you're gonna look at their overall movement, their positioning, their map awareness, how they rotate. It's not just, oh, how's the aim look? Everything has to add up. And that's why 
normally for traditional good players that are good at a lot of different areas, it's very hard to spot when someone's cheating unless it's blatant and they usually try to set it up so it's not going to be as blatant because obviously then it's easier to get spotted. So this guy obviously doesn't know what he's doing with his settings, um, so it's easy for him to get caught. So here's another one, similar scenario. You're going to watch it. He ADSs and then he ADSs a little bit off. And then as soon as he's, he's like right there and then boom, instantly locks on and snaps on. And this is with the controller on PC. And it just doesn't look natural. It doesn't look natural. Here's another one. This is probably one of the wildest ones. This is a shot that no matter how good you are, I don't care if you're a Huskers, Symphony, uh, you got the best aim in the world, probably not taking this shot. But this guy's very confident. And you'll see as soon as he stops the, the shooting the guy, the guy goes a little bit behind cover out of the hitbox range. He loses complete control of the weapon, which makes no sense because at, usually with this weapon, the longer you shoot it, the less recoil it's going to have for a lot of Cold War weapons. Um, so you go ahead and check this out here. So you can see it here. He snaps on and good players could probably hit that shot like a couple bullets, but he's landing multiple bullets. And as soon as the guy backs off and gets behind the, the little bit of cover that's there, you can see his aim. Whoa, he loses control. Oh man. And it looks more like a normal recoil because it's not locking on to anybody. So you're not getting that benefit of that stickiness. So we'll go ahead and go through a few more examples here. You're gonna look at this. This could be good just aim, but look at where the centering is. It's so perfect on the chest. It's like literally snapping in there um, because he actually ADS is where he should, but you'll see kind of how it plays out. So if we look at this closely, he does ADS, and since he's in the general area, it automatically is gonna snap onto the target. And you can see right where it's at, the center of the chest, he un ADSs, re ADSs, and he's right on center of chest again. He downs the player and then instantly, boom, snaps down. One frame difference there. Oh, wait, no, that's not one frame. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can actually see the frame that shifts. So, right here. Boom, in one frame. Look at that one frame. That one frame at 30. So, it's like 30 milliseconds. He's literally looking there. And then boom, he's on the target and he's right. It's locked on and it's moving like smoothly with the body. You can see, look at how the, this part moves right here. So it's on the body and the body's moving down and it's literally locked in place on the exact same spot. So pretty straightforward there. But here's a couple other ones I want to debunk because sometimes people think you got this insane aim assist when you're gliding in the air. Look at the screen. It's going to be like this. And it's just completely unnatural. If you if you didn't think someone was cheating, if you didn't think he was cheating up to this point, nobody, I don't think, can explain this. Look at the... His crosshairs are literally doing everything for him. You're like, man, that's just aim assist. We'll show one more clip, and then I'll show you exactly why that's not aim assist. So we're looking at him glide here. What's going to end up happening, he's still parachuting and it automatically locks onto the guy right there. And it even turned his character. Let's go ahead and look at that again. It's going to turn his character. Watch. So we'll go ahead and watch again. So we're going to go through here. And right here, it locks onto this guy right in the middle of the screen. And look at how it rotates. That is not normal. That's not how aim assist works in Warzone Call of Duty. He ends up splatting to the ground. So those are clear red flags. Even if he was able to track that God tier tracking, it doesn't line up with his other skills, which is a clear red flag. Let's go ahead and look at what real aim assist or lack of aim assist looks like from my footage. So what I'm trying to do within these clips is force a scenario to happen that mimics what we've seen in this clip because if it happens then hey you know what that's just warzone aim assist it's not any kind of fishiness going on it's just you know it is the game it's, the controllers are op whatever right so let's go ahead and take a look at this here so i didn't get anything there we're gonna see a few more clips where i'm trying to 
drag my crosshairs across somebody and I'm even trying to force it to do what we're seeing in other clips. And this is one thing that I've seen in other fishy clips, especially people that were in Twitch Rivals, they had similar things happening, but it's not explained by standard aim assist. So they either were cheating on a different day or they don't cheat or maybe they do and maybe they got some gods here luck that I've never even seen or heard of. But there, there's not like really this tracking. I'm trying to put my target on them to see if it sticks to them even slightly and nothing happens. And I keep doing it. I'm dragging my crosshair across. There's no slowdown. There's no hitching. There's no any micro adjustments. There's nothing. The game isn't doing anything for me. Even when you aim down sight, you're not really getting a ton. I tried it with the pistol. I'm trying to track the dude here. I'm not getting anything out of that. And like I said, we have several examples. Here's one of the best examples. I'm literally trying to put it over the guy and it doesn't change velocity, movement in any direction. You can see it; it's not doing it. Obviously I'm far away, but that guy was super far away. There's been several instances where the people are even much further and you're not getting that. It literally crosses right over them. And the only time you'll probably get that little bit of a grab is when you guys are practically touching in the air. Um, because it's not strong enough otherwise to actually pull your character. And that's what I continually tried to do. And I tried to replicate over and over and over and over again. Where I'm literally looking at a target. You can see where they're at. There's another one here. Not getting anything. I'm adjusting my aim. It's not helping me lock on to the guy at all. I even tried to glide. Look, look right here. There's no aim assist. It's literally just cutting across their body. So I included that last portion of it just to really show you the contrast of how strong aim assist should be in those individual scenarios. Obviously, if someone has good aim and they could snap on a target, a little bit harder to track. What we were seeing was a little bit, you know, off in some of those scenarios. It just doesn't look right, uh, especially when you're gliding through. Dead giveaway. If somebody's using anything like that, whatever it is, it's going to be obvious within those scenarios when you should not be getting any kind of aim assist and it's essentially doing the job for you. How many people are using this? I have no clue. And I know there's other YouTubers out there like Bad Boy Beeman that are that dedicated almost their entire channel to these types of videos, but I thought I'd kind of give a different take on my opinion and show the footage in a little bit different way. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.